this afternoon we're going to treat a plantar wart on this lady's foot. She's 60 years old. Uh, it's been here for about two years and it's uh, painful and uh, a bit uncomfortable and uh, it needs to go. So we're going to put in some local anaesthetic first. It's quite painful to do this treatment without local anaesthetic so we just use 1% with lignocaine. Um, I've just cleaned the skin with a bit of uh, chlorhexidine and a little bit of methylated spirits. Um, so the adrenaline helps to reduce some of the bleeding. So you're going to feel a small pinch here now. You right? Mm -hmm. uh, try not to jump. This is a bit uncomfortable, this part, but the rest is going to be quite easy. So just making a bit of pressure there. So a small pinch, Pauline. Just bear with me. Small pinch. Whoops, sorry. Try and bear with me. Small pinch. That's it. Okay, okay, now nice and slowly. Try not to jump. This is a hard bit, makes the rest very easy. Bit stingy, okay? You all right? Mm -hmm. Bit stingy still, okay. Just bear with me now. Just go nice and slowly. That's it, well done. Another tiny pinch now. It'll get a bit easier in a second. You all right? A bit stingy? All good. All good. Okay. It's just getting in through the skin is the sore bit. Once we get underneath, it's a bit easier. Okay, another bit, a little bit sting. So we're in under the skin now, so I'm just infiltrating under the plantar wart. You might see it starting to raise up a little bit and go a bit white. You right? All in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the hardest bit over. And just a bit more anesthetic. Okay. Make a sharp spin there, please. Alright. So now we leave that for a minute or two to go numb. And we just clean the skin again. There's different ways of treating plantar warts, but uh, obviously doing nothing is an option, but Pauline's tried that and it hasn't gone away. So you can use home treatments like uh, salicylic acid, paring it down, putting it on every night, but that takes six or 12 weeks and most people don't have the patience for that. So if that doesn't work, uh, then obviously cryosurgery is the treatment of choice. So you have to make this as painless as possible, uh, and you have to debulk. You have to be absolutely sure of the diagnosis, but there's no question here, this is a plantar wart, there's nothing else it could be. So now I'm just paring down the dead skin. Is that sore, Pauline? No. Okay, so just pare down as much as possible. Okay. Is that sore? Okay, that's good. So when you pare it down, you can start to see the plantar wart or the Veruca a bit more clearly. And you might get a bit of bleeding. If you do, we usually control that with aluminium chloride. Starting to bleed a bit now. And there's the plantar wart. That's probably up to 75 or 80% of it removed surgically. Uh, so that makes the cryosurgery a lot more successful. So. This is a combination of surgical debulking followed by cryosurgery. So 20% aluminium chloride is very good for controlling bleeding. Sometimes they bleed a lot more than what you're seeing here. But the smallest drop of that usually stops the bleeding. And then it's ready to freeze. Now we're going to freeze for 10 seconds and two freeze thaw cycles. So freeze. Keep freezing until it's all gone into ice. And now for 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So that's a 10 second freeze cycle and we're going to do it twice. It's going to take about a minute for this to thaw out. Was that sore? No, <clears throat> just stingy. Bit, bit cold just? Is it sore now? No. Good. Yeah, without 
anesthetic, this would be quite a painful procedure. So it makes it a lot more comfortable for the patient, it makes it a lot easier for the doctor, and of course it makes it a lot more successful because we're able to debulk more with the blade. So we're just waiting for it to thaw out. The aftercare, we'll just uh, dress it today. If it's bleeding a lot, we might use a bit of alginate dressing. Uh, and then just a pressure dressing, uh, rest and elevation. So you have to keep the foot up for the rest of today, Pauline, right? Mm -hmm. You go home, lighten the couch, put it up in the armrest at the end of the couch. The, you, tomorrow you can walk around, but today just take it easy. You can go to the loo and back, but that's about it. If it's sore when the anesthetic wears off, you can take paracetamol two every four or six hours. But most people don't need too much of that, especially after the first day. You will be limping for about a week and then it should heal up in about two, two weeks. Same again now, you keep freezing until it goes into ice and about two or three millimeters of clear skin is frozen and then we keep it at that for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Was that sore? No. Okay. So a little bit of alginate just in case it bleeds. A little bit of dry dressing and a bit of pressure, I think a bit of tape first. No, we don't need it, so it's, it's fine, is it? Yeah, okay, a bit of tape. So we've got rid of all our shops.